Okay, you guys, welcome back. Clearly, we just got done doing a rewrite about our romantic love life. But I still got the um, message open. And what I want to talk about our um, religious upbringing and spiritual path. If it is influenced by these two things, your love life trying to help you guys make a choice here so the religious upbringing is what you were taught and the spiritual path is what you taught yourself and what the things you want out of, for yourself right so let's just get into the religious upbringing of what people have taught you your love life is influenced by you know, it's a part of us. Clearly. Clearly, it's a part of us. To make us one whole within ourselves. But the thing is, what, 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 what do we want for ourselves? It's more spiritual than the upbringing, religious. It's more spiritual, meaning it's more stronger. So this reconciliation from the past for you to decide on for the ones who want to go back to their past. Decide on, listen, I had to write because I wanted to talk about this. I really wanted to talk about this. Y'all seen that video when I was like, what's going on? And I had to just end it. That was the day that I got this information. So my religious upbringing is messed up completely okay as i look at my family it, it, it's just like i love them but but i i need my own spiritual family that that's kind of kindred to me that understands me and my doings now this religion upbringing they didn't understand me and my doings but wanted to keep me in a place to be talked about and I influence myself to live by the code <laughs> okay to live by the religion upbringing and put my spiritual path on or spiritual path by itself without me being there that's why we've been crying that's why we've been fantasizing because deep within us we know what we need to be and we got we know that new love not that unrequited love. That unrequited love is that religion upbringing. That spiritual path is that new love. You heard me. To set you free. Completely. You doing what you need to do. You being who you are. You being free, loving. Who you are. And they love it. No criticizing. Learn how to accept it. Because that religion upbringing didn't show you how to accept things from them, then. it? Yeah, they only took. They only took and gave what they wanted to give. One percent, not the whole thing. Not the whole 100 percent, but one cent, baby. It's... What a religious upbringing that 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 your love life is 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 um influenced by, and then you got your 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 sound like you religious upbringing. What people have taught you, what people have programmed you to be, what people program you to do, and it's okay, it's okay new love very soon clearly decide what you want that it comes to you now the universe clearly trying to give it to you clearly trying to give it to you to have this higher level of commitment let your friends help you you got good people around you now still they are new love the new people, your new friends, whoever you got around, whoever you talking to, collide with, who you who you think, 
that belongs on your spiritual path so you won't be alone. I'm finna rock out this chair. Let's align with it. Let's align with it. Let's align with it. It's so attractive. It's so attractive by enjoying this moment fully. By enjoying this moment fully. It's so attractive. But your religious upbringing didn't see that. They didn't want you to see that. So they influence you to not to see that. Sound like a lion over here roaring. I, I thought a lion only supposed to have one voice. Not no rabbit, not no mouse, not no snake, not no dog. A lion can't say roof, roof. A lion can't say me. I don't like. A lion can't say moo. A lion can't do that. That lion needs to be a lion. That's more attractive than anything. It being itself. With a loud roar. And most people scared of a lion. Hmm, I wonder why they try to take their voice. It voice, but uh, someone from your past is returning to your life. They, if they're gonna return to your life, it's it's a religion upbringing. It's the thought. It's the mindset. So if this past person within your mind, it's a mindset for them to be in your energy, for them to take control. Now, on your spiritual path, you're supposed to be free. Controlless. A beast. A lion. What you want for yourself. Who you call yourself to be. Yes. Yes. Let your friends help you. Homeboy, homegirl, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept. Accept. Accept this. Accept your spiritual path, baby. It's so abundant. Waiting for you to grab hold to it. Thank you. We crying at night. Because we spiritually fantasizing of this new love and this all this attraction to be free to be you to just ooh a lot of passion in that spiritual path. A lot of passion, a lot of loving, a lot of excitement on that spiritual path thing. But their religion, um their religion upbringing taught you what sad, sorrow, pain, neglect, deprive, reject, abuse, misuse. To wait, to wait, to wait, but to give and give and give. To give what? Too much of yourself and still talk about it. Mm. Too much. Mm. Too mm. And talk about it because they wanted you. Because you know why they wanted you? Because that was immature. And let's talk about your spiritual path. Because you know, you know the timeline on the spiritual path, baby. You know the immature person. The irres irresponsible person below the age. And they got, got us set up and stuck. When we are children and child and stuff on this spiritual path, you already know what's going on. So what's going on? Oh, and they, ooh, we there. We there on this new path. But physically, baby, you need to be touching something. What's so with it in this romantic love life? What's so with this? What's so with it? Love yourself first and follow that spiritual path, baby. All that abundance and prosperity overflowing. Mm. You know what to do. You already know what to do. If this reason, uh, I said reason, baby, it's a reason for every season. It's, it's time is now. But anyway, if this reading resonates with you guys, like, comment, subscribe.
until 